Hello, welcome friends. Thank you for joining me today to learn about your onset mixing pen. I am Erica and I will be your onset training specialist. So let's jump right in and start learning about our product. First up, we have our mixing pen. You'll notice there is a dial at the top with the numbers zero to 60. The only number that we need to know from that dial is the number nine. Each time that we buffer our anesthetic, no matter what anesthetic it is, we are always going to dial to nine before we do so. Next up, we have our sodium bicarbonate. This will come in a pack of four in this pressurized tray. You want to leave your sodium bicarbonate in this tray until you are ready to load it into your pen and start using it. With each cartridge of sodium bicarbonate, you will be able to buffer 20 anesthetic cartridges. If at the end of your seventh day using your sodium bicarbonate, you still have some left, you will need to discard it and then replace it with a new sodium bicarbonate and start working from that. Lastly, we have our cartridge connectors. So you'll notice these come in a pack of four as well. And that's because every time we change our sodium bicarbonate, we also need to change our cartridge connector. So now that we know our products, let's go ahead and set up your pen. But first, I want to show you how easy it really is to buffer your anesthetic chair side. So I have a pen here already set up, ready to go. I am going to make sure I am dialed to nine up top here. Grab my anesthetic. All right, now I have buffered anesthetic. I can load it into the syringe and start the injection within one minute. So let's set up your pen together. together. First here, we're gonna unscrew this black dial. Next, we'll grab our sodium bicarbonate. So to remove this, we need to push down and turn on this gray tab here. It will pop up for you. You can discard the gray tab, slide out our sodium bicarbonate, and we're gonna hold it with the metal cap facing the small end of our pen. Slide that into the pin and screw on our black dial. Now, every time we load a new sodium bicarbonate into our pin, we need to prime the pin. What that is doing is engaging the piston rod up top here to get it right on top of our sodium bicarbonate. So we'll take the dial up here, turn it to nine, and then we will give it a push. Now you'll see you don't have a lot of movement, sometimes no movement at all with that dial. And that's exactly what we want when we are priming our pin. Next, we will grab our cartridge connector. Remove it from the sterilized pouch. It's going to have a safety cap up top. There are some large wings here at the bottom and some small wings at the top. These small wings latch into the backside of our pen and hold this in place. So we will pull on the safety cap to remove it. We will grab our pen and slide this in and you will be able to feel it lock into place there. So now we have our mixing pen set up, ready to go. This is how it's going to sit for you in between uses. You can leave it in your lab, in your operatory, in your office. There are no special instructions for where to keep it in between uses. Let's go ahead and show you how to buffer your anesthetic one more time. We will dial the pen to nine up top, and then we hold the pen and the anesthetic horizontally with the metal cap of the anesthetic facing the pen. We will give this a push into place. You wanna make sure that you do not see the metal of the anesthetic. That's going to show you that it's seated properly. Next step is just to follow these arrows on your pen. Grab the cartridge connector and rotate it to that next position. Then we push the cartridge connector into the pen. We're gonna flip the pen over and we're gonna push straight down on this dial here. The dial is gonna rotate all the way down to zero to show that it gave that sodium bicarbonate for us. And then to release our anesthetic, we reverse our steps. We pull out on the cartridge connector and rotate it back, remove the anesthetic. And again, now we have buffered anesthetic and we will start our injection within one minute. So when we are completely done with this sodium bicarbonate, we would just follow those same steps to set up our pen again and then we would remember to prime our pen every time that we place a new sodium bicarbonate into the pen. One more thing I wanna show you, when you go through and buffer a whole sodium bicarbonate, this is what your dial is going to look like. All that we need to do is rotate this red dial here to retract that back, and then we can put this back on our pen 
and get started buffering again. Well, thank you for joining me. We are done with our training. If you have any questions, please give us a call at On Pharma. Our number is 877-336-6738. Thank you.